Good morning, my beautiful people. Just wanted to check in and ask you guys to see if anyone is like me. Some people call it my innocence. I call it just trusting people, believing in people, thinking that everybody has good intentions just like me. So even when they're doing something bad, I almost can't believe it or try to convince myself like, no, it's all in my head because I wouldn't want to do that to someone else. So I would think they wouldn't want to do that to me, but it's not reality, right? So I want to share with you guys three things that have happened to me. And I still want to give those people the benefit of the doubt and think, nah, they weren't really trying to do that. <laughs> Number one, somebody hired me for an acting job and they sent me a check in advance for the first paying date and for my wardrobe. That's not unusual in acting, my peeps. I thought it was real. I received this check. I put it into my account. The funds went into my account. They wanted me to send part of that money to the fashion designer that was gonna make my wardrobe. It never went through. I was never able to send that money. Why? because I'm God's child and no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So somehow, some way, the bank flagged this, didn't notify me, took back those funds that they had sent me. So I would have sent money that I didn't even have in my account anymore. So number one thing that happened to me and I still believe in them and I still thought. Second thing, anybody that has a verified account on Instagram, watch out, there's snakes out there trying to get access to your account trying to take over your verified account because you're verified and that's almost everyone's goal on instagram how do i get verified i want to get ver verified right and so i have a verified account and so this person reached out that they were gonna send me free shoes it's not uncommon i get so much free clothing and so many things from accounts because they want you to post them so I thought, okay, cool. The funny thing about this, they wanted me to log into this account, putting my email and my private password into my email. I don't trust things like that. You have to be careful with things like that. I had a, a gut feeling, but me still being nice and trustworthy and innocent. But guess what I did? The Holy Spirit told me, make another email and use that, an account that you've never used and they have that, ha that email is not attached to any of your stuff. So I created a brand new email. I did that and guess what? Automatically, instantly, somebody tried to use my email and password for some, to log into my stuff and check if maybe that's the one I use for my Instagram. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. God took care of me. He gave me that insight. So they have access to this email that is not connected to nothing. So haha, ha, joke on you. Third, I was in my truck. I was about to go into the 99 cent store. There was two gentlemen walking and one of them went like that, like he reacted to me. And like, I don't know, it was so weird the way he like, I got his attention. And so what he did was he pretended like he was gonna take a picture of himself, which he kind of did, but he wanted to get a picture in the background of me in my truck. So that was super awkward and weird. And so I was like, oh my God, the whole, you know, they're kidnapping girls, girls that are always alone. So was that a picture of my truck for him to like give it to his team and be like, check out this girl. She has this truck, she's around this area she's always alone or she's mostly alone but guess what i'm never alone god is always with me so no weapon form against me shall prosper but i know god is going to take care of me regardless of what happens so i just wanted to share that my peace because this is reality that i don't want to see and i still don't want to see and think it's all in my mind he was really taking a picture of himself like but we can't be that innocent we do have to be alert right not live in fear because god doesn't want to give you or god will never give you the spirit of fear right you only you don't fear people you don't fear things you only fear the lord out of love and respect so just walk with him be with him and he will protect you and he will guide you but these are things that are out there and 
I have to learn because or else people will just keep tapping into me. But I'm more alert. So if you're trying to get me, just letting you know that I have the Lord Almighty with me. So no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So you need to be careful because God is a just God and he will judge you on all the wicked things that you have for people. So for now, I bless you and I forgive you. As God forgives me for all my sins, I forgive all these people trying to do me harm. But judgment will come. All right, my pinks. Let me know what you think and if things like weird things like this have happened to you. So we can aware people and make them conscious about it. Love you guys. Arriba la vida. Subscribe. Bye.